Thanks, Kim. So uh, starting, I think, uh, sounds like there's several questions from the folks in Taylorsville that are interested in an update. Uh, so we'll start at Devil's Punch Bowl. The folks there today did not uh, venture in there very far due to wet rocks and uh, mud and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, when the ash gets wet, it gets super sli slippery, and they're already in a spot up there that isn't the easiest spot to get into even when it's dry. So uh, they dipped their toes in there maybe a little bit and looked at it, but they didn't uh, venture in there to deal with that today. As of end of shift yesterday, there wasn't much, show much uh, smoke showing in there anymore. They have uh, encircled it with people, with the three crews that have been in there. They just need to mop up more, yeah, a little bit more interior. Uh, from what I understand, there was no smoke showing on it today. That doesn't mean it's out. It just means that it's laying down for a while until the sun hits it and, the, and uh, evaporates the moisture we got, and then it, it'll start smoking again, assuredly. So uh, that's a pretty good update there. I would expect that to continue in the future with those crews. They're just going to keep on plugging away and uh, knocking out any smoke they can find in there. They will not uh, venture in farther interior than the, any farther than they have to to secure that line and make sure it cannot come out uh, just due to the fact that it's it's pretty dangerous terrain and the more they walk around in there the more chance there is to slip and fall and have some kind of an accident so they will be mopping up the edge and probably 100 150 feet inside that edge and then if you see smokes that are interior farther than that uh, they probably will not get worked by firefighters they will be monitored and if they show any signs of, of uh, the possibility of escape, they might take action on them. But otherwise, you'll probably see smoke in there for quite some time. Moving into Division Romeo Romeo from Grizzly Mountain over to Davis. This is all really looking good. It's still shown as red on our map because they're not quite ready. But I would expect that in the coming days with that rain, uh, there's very little uh, uh, activity that I could see on that today. I also drove up through Davis over... Bagley Pass and out here into into Clover Valley and up the 177 to 625 and over through Dixie Valley and uh, very very little activity that doesn't mean it's out that just means that we got some nice rain that cooled it off for a while there are uh, heavy fuels like uh, logs and stumps still burning uh, and smoldering but uh, there was no no real threat to the line there was a little bit of work that was done on Horton Ridge right here with one helicopter for about half of a fuel cycle uh, dropping buckets for a couple of folks on the ground that that wanted to wrap something up right there that they thought was uh, worthy of of getting water on it and cool it off. That was all the aircraft used today on the east zone was just the one spot on Horton. Moving over, you know, it's pretty much run into the uh, sugar fire in here. This is all very secure. And then down on the 395 corridor, I did not get down there myself, but the people that reported to me today told me that they couldn't see smoke. So that uh, we had those crews build hand line up through the retardant line uh, for the last two days. That's all holding, very little activity. But like I say, w we won't underestimate the fire and uh, uh, you know we'll, we'll stay vigilant for both the spot fire and all this country just because the fire has shown us what it can do. And you know it, once it dries out and gets warm again, you will start seeing smoke come back and we just have to monitor it and uh, patrol it and keep eyes out there all the time to make sure it, it cannot come back out away from where it is or out of the uh, per the current perimeter. And finally, uh, today we did take uh, the West Zone, uh, took all their their resources that they had on, on both the spot fire and the portion of the, our fire that, our zone I should say, that comes down to 395 that they'd been helping us on. They have their share of problems up north towards Old Station, or north and west towards Old Station, and as you just heard. So uh, they needed those resources, and we're making a lot of progress, so we took this back with all the resources coming out of either Quincy, our A23 spike, which is there by Beckworth, um, well, and that's the majority of the resources came out of the A23 spike since it's closest. So they, they leave Beckworth, they, they come around on the highway, and they they're, we're fully staffing those other spots. Thank you.